Yeah, and that is what it looks like when the Tigers had a great dinner. Yeah, the buckets are still there. Still have to go take it out. Cats are still eating, but the boys had a great time. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Sun is going down over there. Can't really see it that well because it's just about down already. But in any case, thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. There was no way yet that I could go and get the little buckets. But in any case, Enzo slept on those leaves last night. He loved it. He made like a nest right on top of it. And yeah, that was his bed. So I guess tigers like these leaves. I should actually leave it in there then. The only problem is that it gets grinded up into, well, small little pieces. And then it's everywhere. But difficult to pick up as well. Enzo K. <laughs> Did you enjoy your sleep last <sighs> night, Enzo? He really liked it. And yeah, there's another bed right there. Maybe we should leave the leaves inside or even just put it right there at the back where he is always sleeping. Just make a little nest for him. Because Diego, he keeps on taking the best sleeping spot in the house. And he won't get up. Okay, the little hedgehog is sluggish. I think he's hibernating. So taking him out and putting him back in every day, I think it's a little, it's the wrong thing for him at the moment. So the chickens are just in here hanging around and I've just put those two for them because you never know maybe it rains or something happens and then well there's a lot of trees and stuff here but it might be a problem and then they need to have some place to go and I think that should work we'll just see they do sleep in the house but it's just for those unforeseen moments if a sudden burst of rain or something just comes out of nowhere. Right, Diego is up. Enzo is up. But Enzo is already leading me to that side. And all I want them to do is just be here for a few seconds. Then I can close them up and I can go get the buckets out. Do it in a few minutes. I've got a feeling he's going to turn around within the next few seconds. Let me just get him. Diego Okay, the tigers are closed up. Here comes Enzo. I quickly ran again and I was able to close them up. But now my two vacuum cleaners are quickly gonna go take care of all the little bits of food that was left over yesterday around here. Yeah, it's not much left, but there always is something and Luckily, they come standard with a thing right on the front of their face called a nose. And that finds just anything. And then they can just eat those little bits and it's gone. Yeah, Grandma Cat, you also got one of those things in the front of your face. Yeah, there it is, your nose. Okay, so I'm thinking that these leaves, we should maybe just put it in here for Enzo. Because Diego is taking the best sleeping spot around here. And Enzo likes to sleep on these leaves. So maybe we should just make him a bed right there with leaves. Would you like that, Enzo? Would you like a leaf bed, Enzo? Yes, he said yes. Yeah, that's some weird looking thing right there. If he was any taller, I would not have came in to this enclosure to get these buckets. I would have just let him have it. But in any case, he's also just eating a little bit there. He likes it. Okay, you're not going to get on me. Okay, dogs are going to go for the run. Open up for them. It's either you open up or they break through. There they go. And Diego is going with them. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 
It's either you open up or they break through. <laughs> okay. And now Zach and Sachis wants to come down as well. But there's no way I'm doing that. It's just gonna run around a bit. <laughs> Finding all those little pieces of meat. Yeah, you can say later to me. Later, thanks to me. <laughs> Arthur, play first. <laughs> okay, let me put the door back. That's a good idea. Let's just run it straight off from the wheels. Luckily, I had a tiger enclosure here to save the door. Hmm, who would have known? Okay, so they found a couple of pieces of chicken and stuff. And they are just quickly cleaning it up. Because you can't find it between all these leaves. But they can. They know exactly how to do it with that front part of their face. Their noses. <laughs> okay. And then you must just watch out for these landmines over here. Because uh, they can also... Mm -hmm. Well, camouflage themselves between the leaves. Got a lot of leaves here as well. Gonna use that for Enzo's bed. Okay, Zach and Zachis, they can go for a run on the other side. I'm just gonna close this up again because I don't want the cats to come down right now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Zach and Sachis. <laughs> they never go this side, but now they can. <laughs> Just take a quick run around here. Yeah, it's like going to the park for them as well. I mean, they only come here when the others are on that side. And it's just because of one dog, Bino. Bino is a little dangerous for them. So... They also enjoy coming here every now and then. Billy! <laughs> Enzo! <laughs> Enzo said he would really like to come here as well. Well, maybe someday, but it's not that easy. But yeah, it would be really nice to let the tigers in here, let them run around here as well. I mean, the walls are quite high, just as high as in their area. And there's just a few things that are a problem. I will have to take care of that first. But they would really like to get into another area but yeah it's a lot of things that needs to be changed like those windows on the house yeah I'll have to put bars and stuff around it it's a lot of work a lot of things that I have to buy and just convert but yeah it would mean so much to them and that is probably if you have to ask me if I had one wish I think it would be I would love to take these tigers to run around the golf course <laughs> but I'll just have to catch them afterwards and bring them back home <laughs> hey Enzo <laughs> yeah that would be a video for you okay and Zach and Sachis is quickly coming to meet the chickens the chickens don't think it's such a good idea I can see the worry on their faces but they don't need to worry these two are fine slowly they're all learning about one another. Yeah, just watch out for this hedgehog. Okay, Diego just lifted this up again and it's every day that I have to just pull this back. He's just been doing it the last couple of days. He just likes it. Yeah, and it's strange for him to see Zach and Sachis on this side because he's just used to noisy dogs on this side. Enzo as well, he's coming to check it out. Okay, he's moving along. But Zach and Sachis is just catching up with everything that's happening over here. And they will be going back within the next few minutes. 
I just met the chickens as well but the chickens didn't think it's a good idea so yeah I think I should improve the chicken area because well we do have quite a few dogs around here and it will be a good idea do you think so as well Diego will you be fine with running between the chickens what will you do Hi, Diego oh would you just tell him stories oh that's good to know huh somehow I don't believe him okay Pete is just getting all the leaves together over there oh, okay now all the dogs want to well run around everywhere but yeah that's one thing about this house I've changed it in such a way that we have different areas for all the different dogs with areas between so it, it's been working so far for years and it's great trees are getting some water those trees that stay at the back because it's it's quite time consuming to just stand there and water them and I don't really reach from this side so yeah the pool is getting the leaves out of the pool as well and then making Enzo's bed right there where he likes it with the leaves that he likes to sleep on Okay, dogs are still enjoying it there. I'm going to leave them another half an hour. But they do get tired quickly and then they want to go back. But they can spend some time. I can see they already want to go back. <laughs> well, you guys will play there for a little longer. If you can find any evidence of shrimp or any kind of fish there at the moment, well, let's just say you won't find it. These dogs have been through this place. It's all gone now. Zach and Sachis is here with me. <laughs> okay, time for the dogs to go back. They want to go back. Open up quickly and let them go through. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Them all go through. Hi, Tartanian. Okay, now I think that one is Tartanian. This one, we're not really sure yet what this one's name is, but I've been calling him all kinds of things. Jackie's been calling him Scarface. But <laughs> yeah, he, I think the reason why we couldn't really put a name on him is because he and Tartanian, they, they look the same. So they were actually both Tartanian. But yeah it's one of those things if animals look the same and i've thought about this for a i just missed that almost that diego or enzo peed on me <laughs> but i think the best way to mark an animal that looks identical to another one is by just shaving a little piece of their hair that is going to be the easiest way to do it because you can mark them however you like not going to work but if you shave just a small piece of the hair you'll always see that and you'll just have to do it again in a few months but you won't mix them up then so the next time I've got two animals that look similar I think I'm gonna just just cut a little piece of the hair <laughs> we'll just make sure all of the dogs are out here now I can open up for Zach and Sachis again. And then I have to start opening packages. Guys, thanks so much for sending it. I just, I'm doing my best to open them up. And as you all know, that's the worst thing. I, I, I can't just do it. I don't know why. It's the one thing that I am bad at. Okay, they're going to run. Daisy is still that side. Yeah. And Tracy. As long as Bino is on the other side, then I'm happy. Okay, 
so you can see some spider parts over there probably spiders that live there and then they shed their skins and stuff I'm not really sure but then I realized something the tiger spray the inside of all their enclosure or their sleeping quarters probably to also get rid of insects and things I mean makes sense I'm not sure about that but I don't think so well they've got a little bit of green spinach right there some broccoli sweet potato and I'm gonna have the beef collage yeah that's what I'm eating tonight show you guys what it looks like in the plate as well looks much better in the plate and I think I'll surprise Jackie with the chicken feet tonight uh, maybe she would like to have that with mm, let's see mm, well she does not eat any kind of vegetables whatsoever so I guess she'll be having the chicken feet with chicken feet yeah okay just making a few repairs over here we're gonna be putting some new beams in over there these were the old ones yeah they are done we have to change this whole thing now and then so i actually thought about treating this whole jungle gym and then i thought you know what no just replace everything now and then because it's not expensive but i don't want to treat this whole thing and paint it i want to keep it a little more natural and yeah it's been going for a long time and now and then we just replace one or two planks and it's still going after about six seven years so like this one over here this is totally stuffed now but we can just change that one and i know that the tigers don't want that one changed they like to look through that gap so I'm going to take that part off, but I want to close up here and then it'll be just fine. Yeah, I know that I replaced this wood a couple of years ago already, maybe two years, three years ago. But it's still fine and it's quite strong. So this whole deck, it lasts. But if I change it, it's not expensive and it's better to just keep the whole thing intact while you just replace whatever gets damaged it works okay so we just did a couple of repairs here on the tree house jungle gym and just a couple of planks that we had extra added them there at the back i just want to see if they are going to prefer to use the other section that section over there if we make a few changes to it I don't want to make the whole change and then they don't use it but we did close up over here as well just got some old planks they look reasonably the same don't want to put new ones and then it looks odd but yeah I am thinking of adding something from this side to the water or maybe even on that side but I have to keep in mind that the tigers don't want to use that area because they want shade there. so this tree is providing shade at the moment so that's great and later in the afternoon those trees over there and the tigers just want it you cannot take away the shade so maybe I should add something on here to cast better shade on that area then they're gonna use it because I know these tigers and they want to both sleep in that small little area they fit in there but Enzo is having a hard time getting in there when Diego is in there so I'm gonna have to step it up give them another place to sleep but we'll see I would like to actually add well a lot to this area they like it and uh, maybe even bring it out to this side but we'll see okay so all the leaves is in this side of the wall now 
and that is going to be a nice bed for Enzo of course I saw him sleeping on this last night and he liked it so just take that off I think he should realize what it is and he'll appreciate it I know him he is smarter than you think Okay, I just don't want these dogs to pee on Enzo's new bed. <laughs> Let me take them out. Okay, the tigers wants to come out. Sissy, you go that way. Let me just put you over here with Zach and Sachis. Close them up there. Okay, I was in here just now, but let me just check. Enzo's bed is ready. Maybe the Jaeger also sleeps in it, I'm not sure. But I know that he's always in there and then he stays in there. He won't come out unless it's necessary. Necessary meaning it's eating time. <laughs> right. Let me open up here. Enzo has given up on shouting because it took a little longer. He's so relaxed. <laughs> He just and he's gonna go check it out immediately. I remember when I used to take Enzo for a walk in the afternoons, well on the outside, and we walk around the block. And then this time of year there's a lot of these leaves around and one of the, the houses just down the road had a huge, well, heap of these leaves under a tree. And Enzo would run towards that. I would run next to him with his leash and he would jump inside those leaves. I'm talking about, it's about two, three feet high heap of leaves and he loved it. He was swimming in those leaves. I'll never forget that. He enjoyed it so much. So I think most of the time when we took him for a walk, well, it was for him to go and take a swim in the leaves. <laughs> so since little, he's really loved doing that. Yeah, now they're going to start inspecting everything and making sure that they are happy with everything. <laughs> feels good to give them something and to make sure that it is strong enough to hold them we did put a support in there just to prevent this from moving up and down and left and right but yeah I think it's strong enough again we've replaced those two poles there as well so it looks a bit better Diego, <laughs> he's just got to go check it out. And I have to say, every time I took Enzo for a walk, well, he used to run next to me, but he got tired quick. But then he would just turn and bite me on the leg every single time. And even though he was little, it still, it still hurt. <laughs> and... Yeah, just look at those teeth over there. Well, he didn't have those teeth back then, but it still hurt. Okay, so this is what I am going to be eating tonight. Katia, some cream spinach, some broccoli, some sweet potato and beef goulash. It cost about... Not even three dollars, about two dollars fifty, and uh, yeah, it's a great meal. So let me start. At least then I have also ate for the day, <laughs> because these cats and dogs are keeping me really busy, like now. Okay, go away. Go away now. No, nope. I'll have to take him away. Yeah, Enzo's been up and down that tree house and he has been 
checking every single place where I touched it. Yeah, but I think he's satisfied. He checked it all and he, well, didn't do anything to it. So I guess he is fine with it. But he's still checking for something new. They always do. Okay, so I am just really, really busy. And <laughs> let me just walk here past the noisy TV. It's on here. I keep on something in the house always to just have some sound here. But in any case, yeah, I'm really, really busy. I am trying to cope with everything. I'm coping with everything, but the video making is really taking its toll. I've got a lot of things to open <laughs> and I will, but yeah, <laughs> it is just not that easy on demand. Sometimes I have to just take a month before I can do it and I will get to it. It's just not always that easy. But in any case, now I've got to feed the tigers, going to quickly do that. I'm about, well, I made a video last night and it was more than an hour and I didn't finish it. And time moves on, new things happen all the time and I couldn't finish that one and I'm, I'm probably going to work on it. But I was thinking I might miss a few days and just catch up because I can't post everything I do I do a lot and it is just I can't show everything that I do because it's just too much and I do record it so I do have it recorded I must just find the time to produce the videos and upload them last night I did upload my latest video and I could only make it live this morning. I was waiting for it and waiting for it and it almost went through. There was still about an hour left after that. And then I decided, you know what? It's still gonna take a couple of hours before it's in HD. So let me rather go and take a nap. And I slept till four o'clock, round about there. And then I decided, I jumped out of bed remembering that I was supposed to make that video live because I'm late for a day or two already and then I made it live and I went back to sleep <laughs> but in any case I think I'm gonna have to cut down a little I'm gonna try not to but also I think too many videos is just too much and I'm not chasing after getting well how can I put it? 2,000 videos out there. I've already made so many. So I'm sure if I don't have one and you really want to see one, you can catch up on some of the older ones. And um, they weren't really in a vlogging style, but they have got valuable information. That information you just have to see and not hear. <laughs> That's the only difference. But in any case, now I'm going to quickly get the tiger's food and feed all of these animals and after that it's my turn to eat so right now the most important thing right now is feeding these boys the diego feels so good i think that fish did him great uh, and enzo as well yeah let me get their food feeding them in the next few minutes don't always put your hand on a tiger cage because a spider might bite you okay Diego is first he wants the first chicken let's give it to him if you want it Diego you're gonna have to catch it here it is just show him I'm gonna throw it to him there it is we'll teach him to catch I mean he's only been doing it for three years every single day I think he's not Five, six, seven years, he should be getting it right. Enzo, well, look at him. He knows exactly how to catch. Enzo, 
You ready, boy? Are oh, you yeah. ready? Yeah. There it is. Oh. That's why I don't feed you guys any live things because they will drop dead right in front of you in any case. <laughs> Dove is coming to see what is going on here. What is these tigers up to? Okay, and I'll, I'll, in any case, he is ready for number two. Enzo Key, are you ready? Dove, are you ready? Check this out. Hey, Enzo. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that is taking too long. Now I'm gonna have to feed the cats first. Grandma cat, there you go. She has been here the whole day. Don't know where she always goes, but I'm sure they are missing her there. Here it comes, Diego, watch out. Great, okay, I'm gonna leave another one here for the cats. If the doors are closed the right way, then the cats can eat until tomorrow morning on these. And then, well, that saves me a lot of cat food if I have these over here. Because if the dogs come through, they eat and then they go and bury most of it. Now, there we have a problem. I'm just going to take her and bring her this side. Hey, Katya. Let me take you that side. Come and eat, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's one of those things, if you can control more, you save a lot. Because it's not fun giving the cats two extra tons of food every day if it can be avoided. So that is something that you have to consider if you have a lot of pets. You have to make sure that you are able to control it. The dove is back. He's quickly coming, checking up on the Diego. He heard something about a fish party last night and he just wanted to come and see if there's maybe a seed party tonight. But that is by the other house bird, there by the chickens. So. Just going down the road, around the corner, first house on the right. But in any case, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Like always, <laughs> have a good day. Diego.